continue from the previous video. I'll share the link in the description for that. We will create customized R markdown reports in three different formats PDF, HTML, and doc. And it will look something like this. We will be able to select multiple plots on a choice, select the format we want to have the report in, click on download report, and here it is web three plots. The plot is selected. Okay, let's start. Okay. So over here we had done things up till the plots, and now we will add the buttons, the check box buttons, so that based on these buttons, we are going to add these into the report. So if it has been marked, we will keep it, otherwise not. And you can see that just by adding a single line, we have a button for each and every one of these now. On the right. And you can see that we have used the name such that it will be using this name include and appended with the X, basically the name of the column. After this, we are going to create a text box input at the top over here. So I can show you how we can add multiple parameters to the report. And now we have this. Okay. Next is to save these plots into some objects. So I will create a reactive values, two reactive values basically. So one will save all plots in it and other will have the plots for the reports only. And this will be based on the observing the checkboxes. Now we are going to create a temporary variable over here. Let's call it all plots. This will basically be all plots. And then I will be assigning the P, this one, the plot over here to all plot. I'm using this double errors because this comes inside the domain of L apply and it will be lost if we do not use this. It won't appear outside this. So we have to use this double one. Uh, I'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial. There will be or there are better ways of doing this. So now let me just assign this to So now all plots from here have been assigned to the reactive values of all plots. So now I'm going to use this RV all plots inside observe and update my report plots based on this. So I will choose observe and inside observe. You can see that we first look whether we will only iterate over the column names which have this checkbox. So first is it should exist, it should not null. After that, we need to see if it has been checked or not. So if it has been checked, this is just the print for the sake of it has it's been working or not. And after that, we will just assign that particular one to the reports, plots, from all plots. And then we will move towards the report now basically the render part of the report. So in order to render the report, first we need to add a download button. A download uh, handler will be used for that. So let me just copy this from here and paste it over here. And now you can see that what I've done is, this is just the fluid row and the column width. Let's just set it to, or keep it to 12. We can just put this at top of this, and this will, let's just see what it looks like now. It looks like this. So now we'll be able to select different formats and then the report, but now we are going to use this and add the download handler. Now 
I'm going to explain all of this. So this is your code. It should match with this thing because this is the download button. So we have to match this. So when that button is clicked, this download handler will come into play. First, we need to uh, create the file name. It will be based on the format. Let's say if it has been used, you can see the formats over here. Doc, PDF, and HTML. Based on the selected one, it will name the file which will be downloaded. And after that, if it is HTML, then we have to use this thing over here. This, this, report RMD. Okay, let me, okay, so let me just show you what's inside this one. So over here, I've just created the two text and plot. These are the two parameters. So text will be printed outside this chunk. And over here, I will just print the plot. And then coming back to the code, the app, you can see that I have set the format based on the format selected to HTML document over here, Word document over here, and PDF document over here. The rest is pretty much the same for this. So now the next important thing is this parameter. Input dollar text will come directly from the text input created and plots. This will be the RB dollar plots we just created over here, basically selected over here. And there is like nothing else. You just you can just use this code, and you need to make sure that some things work with the doc, and some things don't work with the doc. Maybe there are some things like uh, which will work for HTML and won't work in PDF and doc. So you need to make sure how to handle those things. Apart from that, our app is now ready, and now let's test it. Over here, we can add the text. Shiny. You can say shiny and just include one plot and let's just do it in html you can see it is working the shiny from there and after this we can do dock same it's also working and now we will try the last one here you can see this one is also working and the only the part which was selected is appearing and if you see multiple parts multiple part will appear in the uh, report thank you for watching this is it from today's tutorial if you like it please like and subscribe and share thank you